everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Dibrary. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Dibrary. Oh, I can actually manually attack here as well. I look to have a limited amount of ammunition, but it looks like it reloads. Okay, so it's a it's a bullet heaven. It's got a kind of nice visual style that not much seems to be animated and things get stuck on things. It's fine, it's a demo. Uh, it's a demo kind of leading up to the Steam Next Fest. I right, select an upgrade. Choose an upgrade, it affects... Oh, so we can see. So, oh, and it's it's following the, um... Interesting, there's upgrades for both the character and the weapon. Uh, but this is following the Nova Drift style of upgrade system. I kind of like that. Okay, so all weapons get an extra projectile, but do less damage. Picking up EXP slightly boosts your stats for five seconds. Tesla coil at your feet that zaps enemies with chain lightning, or... Increase the frequency of Ranger's Mark. I think I'm just gonna go for bullet but uh, bonus bullet for the time being. I don't actually know if that's the right thing to do. But it's fine, let's just kind of work our way through. We do also have a space bar ability, which I'm curious about. Ah, slows enemies down. Approaching my... Uh, let's see, I guess my bramble patch? Call for a pet to aid you. Increase movement speed. Spread and increase damage. I'm just gonna go for that. I might as well make up for the loss of EXP. Those are bees. I'll have to boost my reload if I can manage that. It also feels like my weapons have a slight AoE bonus. Oh, I do not like these sound effects. I'll have to switch them. Greatly increased damage, gains three, ooh, powerful magic. Means three ammo. A uh, chance to poison enemies and slightly increase attack rate, banditry, acid bottles at groups. I think we're gonna go for bottles of magic. We might actually want to go for that movement speed upgrade when we get the chance. Because I'm just slightly out speeding them, but not much. Okay, slightly increase damage, increase attack size. Chain through one more enemy at the cost of some damage. That's what we need. Oh no, it does actually do a chain hit. I was under the impression that the chain hit would just pierce, but no. No, it it was a much more... It, it's a much more like bounce between enemies thing. Honestly? Cool. Uh, let's see, all weapons get an additional projectile. Uh, let's see, one more projectile, broader spread, gain a heart or moderately increased attack size. And then we can also upgrade the trap, maybe. Oh, for my trap size. I think I'm gonna just go for even more bullets for the time being. I don't even really know if I like my trap, though I guess like giving it the ability to make enemies bleed wouldn't be too, too, too bad. Six ammo and a slight amount of cooldown speed. Gains one second of massively increased attack rate and charge rate on reload. Or, third attack is larger, does more damage. It looks like we also limit things. So, mark switch wand, upgrade tree, tactical strike, or rapid fire. So I think we want to go for the rapid fire. I don't actually know if that's if that's actually the uh, the way to go here, but I mean, whatever, it's fine. I'm liking what I'm seeing though. Like the enemies are a little uh, dust bunny y and not particularly exciting, but the rest of it is great. Kill streaks increase your damage. Picking up EXP speeds you up. Let's see what else we have. Damage to nearby targets, 10 seconds, your pickup range increases. Hmm. That's okay. Let's see, chain further, chain to the same target, and back once more. Go for the chain impact. Because I might as well just work on that. Right, I gotta pause. I'm gonna turn down the sound effects. Some of them are just not my favorite. I, I'm kind of digging this chain lightning move. Okay, rats in the direction you're facing the marginal line to attack enemies. Tesla coil. Attacks can chain back to the same target or gain a pierce and slightly increase damage. The pierce is tempting, but I might want to go for chain recursion. 
I'm curious how Chain and Pierce work in conjunction with each other. Let's see. Ooh. And we're getting more enemies. Honestly, oddly enough, they're getting cuter. Like, I thought the little dust bunnies would would be kind of the cute enemies, and then we get more ghoulish as we go. Doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, more more projectile, broader spread. Yeah. I'm just gonna go for massive quantities. I'm just gonna kinda hang out here. Stay away from the bombs, for obvious reasons. Also, it looks like we're kind of lucky here. Uh, doesn't seem like anything disappears. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Okay, increase attack rate and reload rate. Versus increased damage, increased projectile speed. And projectile speed is added as damage or small chance to ignite enemies. Size effects are interesting, but we're one-shotting almost everything, so it's not super useful. That I would rather put most of my effort into making my attacks as punchy and, like, pierced bouncy as possible. But we do need some movement speed. Okay, what do we have? Moderately increases attack size, increased damage, but reduced projectile speed. Gain double ammunition and all chain is converted to pierce. I don't hate it. But a page. Oh. Rescue the trapped pet. Oh, it's a quest. Not something I was expecting, but sure. Okay, my damage is becoming slightly in insufficient here. Not too bad, but it's in there. Okay, I guess we should head for that pet more than anything else. Oh wow, my attack speed is like really good. I haven't used I haven't used it, I haven't cared about it. If we can chain further, isn't that helpful? But we actually don't need that one. Slightly increased attack rate. Large portion of your attack rate is added as damage. Increased attack rate. Slightly increased damage, reduced projectile speed, or increased attack size. Both of those are really good. I think we're gonna go for faster attacks at the at this point. And I should be heading for that pet. It actually takes some damage. The problem is there's a lot of enemies here, and I kinda of want all of this EXP. I don't know if we found a magnet of any variety yet. Okay, what do we have? Greatly increased attack rate and reload rate. So, quick change artist, or gain one pierce, increase damage, and knockback. Uh, I guess here's the question rapid fire final form, damage and ammo, damage and ammo. So, rapid fire, or ah, it doesn't say. So, that's minigun. That seems to be kind of more of a spread, and that seems to be. Oh, wait, no, it can. It says increase knockback attack size and small chance to stun. Damage attack rate and reload rate. Attack rate, bonus projectile counts are converted to, oh, to massive damage. Full auto versus Gatling sorceries. I think I'm gonna have to go for Gatling sorceries. Okay. No, I'll, I'll just come back. We gotta go get this pet. It might even be useful. Oh, it's like also heckin' close. Okay, Chaos Seer, end of evolution. Oh, we have the pet now. Oh, the... What is this gnome? I have no idea. Oh boy.
I think I killed it. Select an upgrade. Greatly atta increased attack size and skill duration. Three hearts of non-lethal damage, or... Oh, these are... Greatly increased attack size and skill duration. I think I'm gonna go for that. All right, we've killed it. Uh, mostly, mostly just just by beefing our way through. I was expecting my crystal to work better, but I suppose it didn't. Also, the minigun is uh, funny, but not great for me. I do not know what my plants. Oh. Is that all of it? I'm just gonna go back to where we were. No, it is not, dang. I was hoping I'd be able to just magnet everything in, not just everything on screen. Okay, movement speed and your character's cooldown speed, kill streaks, ranger's mark, call for a pet to aid you. I think I'm gonna just keep going for fleet footed, because I'm slowed down while I'm in machine gun mode. That's a bit of a problem. Increase damage. Increase attack size. Increase movement speed. Lose one heart. Yep. And even then, it is insufficient for my needs. And the thing is, I can actually just wipe out an entire field's worth of enemies almost immediately. So, like, there very much are pos positives to this build. Increase attack size. Trap cooldown. Oh, right. Gets another ammunition. Trapped enemies bleed. Skill duration. Slow effect from traps. Ranger's mark. Tesla coil. Or gain a heart. Gain two hearts. I guess I'm going to upgrade my trap. I see, so I have to shoot my... I have to shoot my trap. Could it be, nope, it was just a lag spike. Okay, what else do we have? Mana blaster, ammunition, and each pier slightly increases damage. Trap, trap, or attack speed is added as damage. Which, my attack speed should be pretty high, so, yep. Can I reload early? Yes. I wonder if it's just whenever I stop attacking or if I have to manually tell it to reload. Not entirely sure. Okay, so slightly increased damage, cooldown for all weapons, and your character skill. Let's see. Ignite enemies. Let's see. I'm gonna go with rapid deployment. Once again, reload speed is kind of my my big killer here. And so if I'm able to effectively just reload instantly or near instantly, I'm in way less trouble. Okay, kill streaks might be a good idea. Pick up range and ooh. I think we're gonna go for Rapid Killer. Oh, and we do actually have a quest document over here. Okay, save another pet. What else do we have? Rats, pickup range, and... Yeah, let's go for the pickup range, at least for now. Okay, do we want to do this? EXP increases all of my stats for a short while. Because there's Meteoric Pace as well, but I think I might want to go for Banditry. Because movement speed also more or less determines my pickup rate, as I can just pick up more stuff much faster. Damage, attack rate, yeah. Which also scales my damage even more absurdly. So 
hopefully we get some more unit types. I also say I would love to see the, uh, the little guys like bouncing a little bit. As silly as that sounds. Go for a kill trigger. Just, just because. Probably go get that trap. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do attack size and skill duration versus trip trap cooldown? Mm. Let me go for the trap cooldown and uh, let's see. Trap cooldown and duration. Fortunately, I decided to do this right next to a tree, which of course is going to block all of my. All of my shots. What else do we have? Every 10 seconds of constantly moving, pickup range increases. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for that. I was hoping it would be much bigger than that. Alright, whatever. in my way. All right, let's go get that other pet. I just don't even know what my current pet does. Did my damage get reduced somehow? Not sure how. Might have actually been that pierce upgrade. Okay, let's just... Uh... Oh, there's another magnet E thing. Where's this little lost pet? None of that you. As awkward as this is, it is working. I'm so glad this also is specifically like allowing enemies outside of the ring. Otherwise this build would have some flight problems. Okay, trapped enemies bleed, massively increase the slow effect from traps to animation, reduce trap cooldown. Oh, there's the boss. Uh, there it is. Bye, bye. Okay, projectile count and split. Increase your EXP gain, attack size, and pickup range. Or, ooh, paper scrap drops. Let's go for that one. We're reasonably powerful. Some of the other ones would be good, but getting a bunch of paper paper drops. Oh, they got tougher. Let's see. Getting a bunch of paper drops and then hopefully getting extra pickup radius based on it should be fine. Okay, there's a pickup radius. Uh, let's see. Kill streak increase. Yeah, let's do it. And then I'm just going to kind of toast my way through this group. Unfortunately, they got uh, kind of tough. Which is a bit of an issue. use that. I can't avoid enemy shots, but I can at least keep them off of me. Oop. Damage needs some major work here. Uh, let's see. Movement speed and pickup range. Yep. Let's get another one of these down. Okay, what do we need next? Honestly, big stick. We need the more we need more damage. I might not survive this one. Just all those fl 
flies in the background that are causing issues. Uh, let's see. Acid bottles, gain a heart, chance to ignite enemies. I'm just going to go for the acid bottles. Those acid bottles are actually obscenely good. Wow. through. I guess it's not the most primo situation. EXP fast enough? No. Rat parade? Maybe? I think I'm going to just add the chance to burn on top of everything else. Yeah, we're going to take a little bit of damage on this. Fine. I'll have to try one of the other characters. I don't like the trap on this one just because you have to lead an enemy to it and through it. And that's slightly obnoxious. Okay. Increase weapon damage and cooldown speed. Damage, chance to poison enemies, increase attack rate. I think I'm going to just go with... The raw damage for the moment. Boy, these sound effects are a thing. Oh, we got a quest. We've got yet another animal to rescue, I guess. Okay. Gain one pierce, slightly decreased damage. I think that's the one we want. Yeah. I kind of want to set off the bombs if we can. Let's not be there when that goes. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna... I mean, we're still toasting them. We're not one-shotting them, though, which is a bit of a... bit of a downer. Because it would, it would amuse me to no end if I actually would just shred them. Even at this point, I mean, it's fine. Go up here, get another one of those. Uh, let's see, enemies hit by pierced bleed. Oh, there's a magnet. Now, is that a big magnet? No. Dang. I feel like the magnets would be so much better if they specifically... ...did actually just magnet everything. Because, boy, I am not going to be able to go back and pick up most of the, the loot on the ground. And that annoys me slightly. Trap activation speed is not the best, but Let's see. But I could also be using it wrong. Damage to nearby targets, or yeah, let's just go with that. Because most enemies are nearby me, whether or not I like them to be. I want to toast all of the shooters if I can. Also, we have a boss. Honestly, probably fine. Whoa. I was not expecting it to quite have that, but I guess we've killed it. Ow. Whew, sound effects on this one need some work. Um... I don't know. That least favorite is probably fire. Choose your favorite. I'm not actually sure if any of these are going to help. Okay, vote progress. You've earned a vote for a new plot twist. These are plot twists and drastically affect the gameplay of future chapters in your story. Place your vote and an author of the story's future now. So, cooldown reduction due to your big brain, but lose two hearts and damage. Triples the amount of destructible objects in the world, but enemies no longer drop hearts. I bet go berserk after taking damage. 30 seconds when you become a ghost, or you become a ghost for 10 seconds. While ghosted, you can't attack, but cannot take damage. Shemling towers will randomly appear around the world, endlessly spawning mounds until they're defeated. Or, Act 3 has more enemies. 
going to go with the surprising climax. Okay, oh, so we have, also have perks and unlocks. Oh. I do have meta progression though, right? Yes. Okay, so we have some things. So if these are unlockable, oh, 40 levels in one run. So I've only unlocked two. Elemental ailments a bunch of times. Wait, no. I have? Beat a chapter with all movement and attack speed diamond upgrades. Wait, I'm confused. Okay, we have perks, characters, and weapon. Oh, here we go. Uh, we were just looking at the list of things to unlock. Or the plot twist? The plot twist. But we don't have these. Okay, but we do have perks. What about the weapons? So, game speed perk. And we can buy the boomerang as a primary weapon. I don't think we can buy the rest. Yeah, we don't have enough money for it. Increase game speed. Oh. That's interesting. More damage. Increase attack size. Regen HP. The pickup range is kind of huge. Oh, but very expensive. Uh, let's see. Do we have any characters that I can unlock? Bees is a secondary weapon. That's That sounds fun. And there's a character over here. I guess I'm going to buy the boomerang just so I guaranteed have a different weapon for my next run. Go back and take a look at this. Because I don't have that much. Okay, EXP gained. That's a lot, though. Might still be worth it. Character cooldown speed, faster. No. Let's go for the little bit of extra EXP. Uh, let's see. More damage per rank. Pick up radius. Oh. So the first tier of regeneration is free. Everything else costs. Ouch. Guess I'm just going to go for the pickup radius. Considering we got a win. Okay. So let's do character select. So we can do boomerang. Yeah, bow and spear. And then, oh, this is a different character, but I haven't unlocked him yet. So I guess we're stuck with the elf ranger. Yeah, it's fine. Let's just do another one. At least we have a different weapon this time around. I'm mildly worried that the boomerang is going to do weird things. But you know what? So be it. Let's see. Okay, what do we even talk about at this point? I, mm, do we want to try the pet? Moderately increased attack size, gain pierce, ignite. I feel like the pierce is probably meaningless. I think we want the attack size. Because I think I'm going to need big boomerangs. Because unless I'm mistaken, these boomerangs probably have unlimited pierce. And I'm not going to benefit at all from having more pierce on them. I guess the bonus damage for piercing might be. Increase secondary weapon attack size. And increase primary weapon attack size. Sure. Oh, secondary weapon is stuff like the... Um, Tesla Trap, which I think we do actually want to pick up this time around. I guess I should have gotten it last time. And we're also going to want projectile speed. Adds to base damage, yeah. Yeah, like I said, infinite, uh, infinite pierce. Who brings knockback harder? No, I think I'd rather have projectile speed and damage. But I think I'm going to go for the Tesla coil. I don't even know if it's that good. Let's see, attacks chain through some enemies. I have no idea how that's even going to work with this thing. Time to find out. 
I don't know if it has like a little bit more of a wiggle. I think the chain is meaningless. But I shouldn't have grabbed it. Large portion of your attack size is added as damage. Okay, so the chain does work. It messes with my boomerang's trajectory in very weird ways. It'll effectively take like an odd left turn. Let's go grab the acid bottles. As far as I'm concerned, there's no downside to them. Okay, Tesla, gain a split. Okay, so that might be something. Do we want to go for attack rate? No. I might as well work on my secondary weapons a little bit. Since I think the boomerang doesn't synergize with a lot of perks particularly well. Uh, like, what does attack rate even do with it? It's probably movement speed. Or, like, projectile speed, but I don't know. I guess I do also have the trap. I should probably be using that a little bit. Okay, my damage is not super good. I'm kind of... I'm kind of hating the uh, the chain effects. It's not strictly terrible. It's just not amazing. Uh, let's see. Increase weapon. Oh, just moderately increase damage and knockback. I think I should go big stick, though. We need some damage here. And again, thighs does determine... See, size does affect my uh, my damage as well, so hopefully stacking a bunch of size. I just want a big boomerang, man. I don't know. Slightly distracted. This is my like warm up game for the day, and so I'm just kind of like I'm not awake yet. Usually don't start recording until like 11. Okay, when you hit an enemy, your boomerangs gain projectile speed. You gain movement speed, or chance to bleed enemies they strike. We also have gain a chain, increase damage, or chain back to the same target, gain two chain, and moderately increase attack rate. I think we're going to go for acceleration, though. Because I want my boomerangs to be heckin' fast. Okay, let's head for the pet. We're going to have a boss showing up soon anyway. Beat 35 enemies. Yeah, I suppose. This is going to hurt a bit. Yeah, there's a loot goblin dude down here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Okay, that's trap size. Banditry. Picking up EXP helps. Chain hit harder, slightly increased attack rate. I guess I'm just going to go for chain impact. Okay. I think I did actually hit the loot goblin. Alright, so what do we want to do? Gain a chain, increase damage, or chain, gain two chain, increase attack rate. I think I'd rather go for linked chains in the moment. Okay. Just kind of hang. And unfortunately, I guess the Tesla coil isn't as good against um, single targets. Maybe that's not a problem. <laughs> we are definitely weaker and less effective than my last run. The boomerang is interesting, don't get me wrong. There it is. Okay, projectile count and split. Cooldowns, paper scrap drops. No, let's go for projectile count and split. Because, boy, I think we need uh, boom more boomerang.
Okay, what do we want to do next? Let's see, attack rate, gain two chain. We also have gain one ammunition. Their firing path alternates left and right. Now nah, I'm going to go for that. It is now boomerang time, I suppose. Okay, the boomerang is actually infinitely better than I thought it was. I just needed to give it the time. Catch fire, increasing projectile speed, igniting anything. The hit to animation or ammunition. Chance to stun. Boomerangs move slower and no longer return to you. If you catch them, they grant a stacking bonus damage and EXP drop rate. I think I'm going to go boot Burnerang, though. Because every ignited enemy uh, explodes when, when killed. That sounds really good. Uh, so I guess the answer is we just did not get the uh, requisite abilities to make my weapons good. Unsurprising. Okay. Oh, get an additional projectile, but do less damage. Worth it. They're very worth it. Okay, primary weapon damage and slightly increased attack size. Yup. It feels like the damage math might be kind of off. I just went from 18 to 35 damage, and I'm not quite sure the impetus on that one. And one major thing is they seem to have a lot of evolutions here, which I'm appreciating greatly. Let's go Firestorm. Well, everything's going to be on fire now. I suppose I guess I'm just going to live here. Transfer mere boomerangs into chakr chakrams that do bleed on hit, sure. I don't think that makes a any kind of material difference here. I'm getting hit by bees that are coming at me really fast. Oh well, okay, can chain further. Primary weapon, tighter spread, eh. Here's to increase damage. I think it's fine. Okay. Puddles gain one second of skill duration to do more damage. Do more damage, get knocked back. Uh, yeah. I mean, at this point, I think we have this in the bag. There's always a little bit of a worry that the red zone is going to be a problem, but we'll see. One pierce and massively increased projectile speed. Bees! I think I might have to kill the sound effects. I'm going to at least have to keep turning them down. This is one of those where it's just a little too repetitive for me. Uh, secondary weapon damage and cooldown speed. Sure. Yeah, the secondary weapons are pretty good. I actually like them a lot. Enemies start bleeding. Increased pickup range. Oh. Yeah, that is an option. But I think I'm going to go for my Tesla upgrade. I, I like how many different upgrade options there are here. Like, it very much is, hey, but what if um, 20 minutes till dawn had more? Like, a lot more? I don't know if the extra pierce means anything on this one. Oh, that's a big upgrade. Okay, shoot slower. I don't think that matters for me. X getting a chance to uh, ignite enemies. Yeah, let's let's go for that. Because hopefully this means now my lightning blasts are also going to explode everything. Maybe. Okay, do we go get the trapped pet? Probably. Ignite does more damage. Large chance to ignite enemies. Now let's. We already ignite everything, I think. At first, I thought boomerangs were going to be uh, stinky and bad. Turns out I am stinky and bad, and this is absurdly good. I, I'll i be honest, I was not sold on this immediately, but now that we've seen like kind of the depths of the upgrade system, 
it's very... I, I don't want to say it's very shameless, uh, but it's like, it's super obvious that they were inspired by Nova Drift and 20 Minutes Till Dawn. And honestly, I think it actually works really well. Like, I know to some degree, uh, it's slightly unfair for uh, developers to like ape such a system and like, I don't want to say like overshadow the predecessor, but like, I don't know. I think Nova Drift hopefully will continue to get credit for how good it is. There, now the burn spreads to everybody. Enjoy burning to death, suckers. This is the problem with uh, ignition, is that there's no... Nothing lasts long enough to burn. And so there's no point to it. But on the flip side, uh, just go back to what I was talking about with the whole, like, using the Nova Drift system of... Nova Drift is a really good game. Additional projectile, broader spread. And yeah, that's not going to affect me in the slightest. Sup, dragonfly, die! Oh, there it is. Is dead now. Uh, let's see. Two chain. No. Pet cooldowns gain a pet instantly. Increase knockback and potency of all things but lose direct damage. Nope. Hyper pets. I don't know what that's going to do, but it's fine, right? Ah, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. Just kind of. Oh, wow. I think the crystal's picking things up for me. Okay, that's pretty good. I guess I shouldn't discount pets that much. And I should probably, possibly invest in them a little bit more. Man, that last run I had to use my, um... My trap way more often. Now I'm just kind of like, wee! Destroy everything. I'll have to try some of the other classes and weapons. Because, like, there's... There's an absurd amount of variety to this. Uh, the fact that I can have such a run here, and also, ooh. Uh, let's see, much tighter spread, increased damage, pickup range. Like, the pickup range one's tempting. Oh, gain two chain, increased damage, cha four chain. Nah. I'm just gonna keep making my, my boomerangs just absurd. But the fact that this has kind of this uh, scaling chapter system to add more modifiers to everything, uh, the the fact that you have oodles of different upgrades to work with as well. Like, every weapon has, what is it, like, a, it has a bunch of different evolutions. I was going to, I was going to specifically try and uh, count it, but the answer is like, your first tier has, what, four? And then your second tier has four? And so that might mean, like... What is that? 16 different possible end goals? Many of them just affect stats in some way, shape, or form. But even then... Okay, I don't really want to reduce... My... Ooh. I don't want to reduce my damage, but that split is really good. We could also go for the pickup range, though. Because there is a lot of meta currency that I'm just leaving on the ground. Because I'm simply incapable of picking it up. You know, it would be like a banger upgrade. Oh, there was a... There was a pet scroll there. I guess maybe we're out of time. Now, I haven't even looked into these. Increase attack rate. Enemies standing in acid. Take more damage from your primary weapon. Like, haven't even touched it. I probably should. Oh... When an enemy with poison dies, they leave behind a poison pool. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Let's go for the poison for now. Oh, there it is. Okay, chance to poison enemies. Now, you level reasonably fast. Like, some, some bullet happens to get slower and slower as it goes on. Uh, it doesn't seem to be the case in this one, which I'm appreciating. I'm... Just absolutely shredding them. And I'm very glad to see that a lot of my upgrades actually are applying to my secondary weapons as well, because that's a lot more acid pools. So yeah, if you really know the upper limits on, on like what you can do with this game, I bet you could do some pretty absurd things. I mean, I'm already doing absurd things and I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, that's the that's the that one. Pick up range, hearts drop more op often, pick up range. Yeah, let's go for the wise one. And I'm sure I haven't even found like 
certain high-end evolutions that are really good or upgrade combos that maybe you need to uh, need to get like some prerequisite for, per prerequisites for and just like the extent of the the stat customization you can do over the course of this is really exciting uh, let's see every hundred kills sure I'll just get it out of the pool not that that's much of an issue I will say I, I do hope that there are unlocks for like Rerolls and banishes, uh, specifically banishes, gives. If I could specifically say like, "Hey, I don't actually really want this thing. It's not very good." Um, I think that would make a huge difference on a personal level, just really from the perspective of like, I really don't want this mouse. I'm sure it's good, but I just I don't have space for it, uh, and I don't have time to upgrade it. Like I didn't even have time to upgrade my uh, poison puddle secondary weapon and it's soaked up enough of my actual upgrades that it's perfectly fine without but it could be even better uh, let's see a yeah, frequency of rangers mark yeah I haven't even built around that I don't even know if there's more uh, let's see I guess I'll I'll try the rat parade just because what else am I going to do it seems okay I don't know how fast it cool, cools down. There we go. Let's stay away from the explodey boys. Let's see. Whenever you use your skill, triple pickup range. Oh, here it is. When an enemy with poison dies, they leave poison on the ground. Not that it makes too much of a difference, but now everything is poison. Get goops. Get hella goops. Also, it seems like my oh my god, what has happened here? I think I think this I think I did a war crime. I'm pretty sure this is a bad thing. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll work on my acid. Unfortunately, the shooty enemies are kind of wrecking me, but there's plenty of HP, so it's not really a huge issue. Oh, there is a boss here. Hello. Did it die? It did die. Sick. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Let's see. And once again, this isn't really that helpful. Yeah, choose your least favorite. I don't know. Those were okay. Please select one of the following. Fine. Take that one, I guess. Oh. Uh... I'm juice. There we go. So we also get another one. Dangerous elemental pool spawn. More effective against you than enemies. Eyes become worse after every act. Enemies rise again after dying. Lava pools. Cooldown reduction or shambling towers. I like shambling towers. More enemies means more EXP. Uh, so that might have actually been the end of the run. Uh, let's see. So we do have... We've unlocked the bow. We have not unlocked him. Ah, beat a chapter with a fully unlocked evolved spear. 200 shriekers. And we need whatever the magic tomes are. Oh, wait. I haven't... Or do we have the bow now? We do have the scope. Nicholas scope is a primary... Uh, is a secondary weapon. Sure. Oh. And that gave us a page. So... Tomes were awarded when voting completes. Ah. Yeah, so I can't really do that too much. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. So what else, what else do we invest in? Like, most of these are good, but I think that pickup range is just kind of genuinely the best. I also really appreciated the extra game speed. That helps. Uh, I could probably go for 50%. I think I'll stop after that, though. Let's see. Attack size by a couple ranks. Reload, ailment potency, and a little bit of knockback. There we go. Yeah, it's characters, weapons, and we did have a couple of these, but it wasn't yeah, it wasn't letting me buy them. So I don't really care. Okay, chapter summary. If I do character select, beat chapter one. Uh okay, we've authored authored a twist. See how far you can get and how many twists you can unlock. Oh, so when you die, you probably lose your streak. Also re receive currency for playing and beating chapters. Spend in the perks and unlock store. Yeah, so... 
Oh. Yep. I don't know. It's fine. And we also have the bow. Charge up and release powerful arrows that pierce through targets and deal incredible damage. I'm not actually going to do this run. I just want to see how the bow works. Okay. So attack speed is probably going to be helpful here. It looks like we have infinite pierce. But that charge speed is going to be a little rough unless I get substantial amounts of attack speed to kind of make it work. Split and multiple projectiles are probably going to be the name of the game here. Oh, we have a limited amount of uh, limited amount of pierce. That's unfortunate. I really like that boomerang, so that probably means that the bow and arrow is actually quite good. I do want to unlock a different character, but that'll have to wait for next time. Because, honestly, limited amounts of time. Oh, that Shambling Mound? Uh, it gives a bunch of EXP, too. Sick. Anyway, for now, though, I think this is a good stopping point as I, uh, I've got to go record other things. But I was originally kind of under the impression that this was going to be ho-hum, and I have been uh, thoroughly proven wrong. This is actually really good, and I can't wait to see more of it. And it's so tempting to stick around for another run, but I think I'm going to leave that for later. So, for now at least, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I can't, I can't stop. I gotta stop.